Tonight we're we're blessed. We're blessed. We we I thank God for the, for the new church. Amen. I mean the new church is great and, and God God said he was going to do it, he done it. Hallelujah. We don't have that moment. Amen. It's faithful. Amen. Somebody said, Well, you're gonna to have to go to the bank and borrow money. No. Not if you trust God. Right. Hallelujah. God took care of everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm gonna say something tonight. Jesus, he'll not walk a dusty trail to get to the place where Lazarus had been buried again. He won't do it. I feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He won't turn the water into wine again. He won't be betrayed by Jesus as a carrot again. I feel something. Amen. Hallelujah. He won't go to that garden and he won't go through the torment that he went through again. Not again. Hallelujah. He won't go into the fall of Pilate and they won't tie his hands to the whipping box again. <laughs> Hallelujah, I feel so. Not going to happen. Hallelujah. Now stay with me. He's not going to have a fatal red thorn. thorn a thorns on his head and my sham again. A crown of thorns won't be put on his head again. He will not take those lashes on his back again. He will not pick up that cross. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> He'll not try to take that cross of God off his heel again. They will not nail him to a cross again. Amen. Joseph and Nicodemus will not go to that cross and pull his body down off that old cross again. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. You know why I feel the presence of the Lord? Yes, For what He does. Mm -hmm. I can stand here tonight and feel the presence of God. Amen. Uh. That sepulchre where they laid Him and rolled the stone over the door and sealed it, it won't be rolled back again. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like doing something. Hallelujah. 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 He won't get up from where he was laying, take the gray clothes, the mummy clothes, unwrap them from him again. He won't do that again. He is going to do it again. Come back. 
The angel of the Lord looked up and said, Why stand you gazing into the heavens? Why stand you gazing? This same Jesus, I felt like I'm going to run. Hallelujah. He said, This same Jesus that you see go away, He's coming again in like man. Hallelujah. He's coming again. That He will do. He's coming back. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, He made a plan for us. He made a plan from the very beginning of His time. I mean, to think about the plan of God from the very beginning of time. You know, we think that, that we're not nothing. Sometimes we get in our minds that we're just not nothing here on this earth. Bless you, Lord. But I want you to know something. You're something in the sight of God. Amen. You are something special in the sight of God. You know why you're something special in the sight of God? Because before the world was ever created, before they ever took that, before we ought ever walk down on the face of the deep, and he began to say, uh, that is that land began to appear. And he began to say the things that he began to say. Uh, he already had you in his mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Whenever that he, he began to make everything like it was, you know, here, here we are, 2015, uh, in a little church in Fredonia, Kentucky, and you can say Fredonia, Kentucky, and people say, well, where's that in? But here we are, set the night in this building. In the plan of God. In the plan of God. You say, well, I don't, I don't do this, I don't do that. You're doing what God intended for you. Hallelujah. You're exactly what God intended for you to be. You know why? Because you're in the plan. You're in the plan. If tonight you're a born again, blood bought Christian, let me tell you something. Uh, you ought to be the happiest person that ever walked the face of the earth. Amen. 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 You know, the devil runs around. The devil runs around. I don't like to give the devil credit for anything. He's smart. I like that. I like to say that. He's smart. He knows how to bet, manipulate you. He knows how to bet you and turn you inside out if you're letting him. He will take you, I'll read it here in a minute, and he'll destroy you if he has his way, if he has his way, he's going to take you out. Amen. But you're in God's plan. Amen. Hallelujah. From the very beginning, you're in, you're in that plan. You know, I, I read this morning in the 10th chapter of the book of John. I told you I was going back to it tonight. If you've got your Bibles, turn to, the, to John, the 10th chapter. Jesus spoke to him as he begins to speak to him. I'm going to read this over again. Y'all heard it this morning. That's okay. We're even going to go further now. It says, starting the first verse of the 10th chapter, Hey, would you ask a blessing on, on the, the word of the Lord tonight? Heavenly Father, it's awesome to bring forth your word to us tonight, Lord. I pray that you open our minds, our hearts, and our ears to this word, so that we might take it into our lives and show it to others out there in the lost and dying world. I bless this word, Lord, and bless this word in this world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In the 10th chapter, in the book of John, it says, Verily, verily, I say to you, He that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some of the way. The same is a thief and a robber. You know, I, I said this this morning, I'm going to go back over it a little bit tonight. You know, today, this world that we're living in, every corner in the in every town, and this is about any place that you go, you're going to find a church. And there's going to be a different denomination. There's going to be the Baptist, there's going to be the Baptist. Now, this I'm not talking these denominations. Before I ever go any further, I want you to understand. And you want you to believe this too. There's going to be born again Baptists in heaven. There's going to be born again Methodists in heaven. There's going to be some Catholics been born again that's going to be in heaven. But listen to what he said. But listen to this. We are the people. God didn't make a dozen or 120 or 30 different plans of salvation. He didn't do that. He took and he made one plan. He one made one plan, and he said, I am the, the shepherd. I am the way. I am the way. This is not going to keep reading. But he that entered in by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter opened, 
and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Remember, we're the, we're the children of God. We're the sheep. We're the ones that, that God has, has called into the fold. Listen. And a stranger, well, I don't know, and, and when he put forth his own sheep, and goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. <laughs> Did you hear what I just read? You know what? There are so many people tonight. There are so many people tonight. And I'm not going, I'm not going to exclude the Pentecostal of the, of the, of the denomination or the Pentecostal belief. There are so many people tonight that are sitting in God's church uh, and sitting in church uh, that when God speaks to them, uh, they don't know no more about whether it's God uh, than they know about a, a cow that moves out in the, out in the pasture. They have no inkling on who it is that's trying to speak to them. Uh, you know, we're living in a time right now, we're living in a time right now that good and evil has come to the point uh, that they will do whatever. You know, the Bible says that in the last days uh, they will kill you thinking they are doing uh, the right thing. Thinking that they are doing what it is that God wants them to do. But we're living in a time right now. If you don't believe it, turn your television off in the morning and you'll hear where somebody went and blown up a dozen or a, a thousand people or a hundred people. Why? Because uh, the evil thing of the devil swept into their minds uh, and began to tell them, uh, take these people out. Uh, but you know what? There's still a few people uh, that will come to a little old country church uh, and they'll get up uh, and the Spirit of God will move in the congregation like it moved in this place tonight. Uh, and as it begins to move, uh, you know what? Good begins to take place. Uh, the Spirit of God begins to move. Uh, we begin to raise up. Uh, we begin to do what it is that God wants us to do. We begin to worship Him. say, God, I love you. I appreciate what you've done for me. I appreciate that you went to the cross. You will never have to do it again. Hallelujah. Think about this. I feel the anointing of the Lord. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say to you, I am the door of sheep. I think I skipped one. Did I not? And a stranger will they not talk. But will flee from him, for they know not the voice of a stranger. Hallelujah. Now this is talking about God's people. We have got everything that walks into the door. We, I, I have preachers all the time that call me and say, Look, well, we'd love to come and preach in your church. We'd love to come and preach. We'll only just give anything we can come and preach in your church. My friend, I love shout. I love to see people worship. But when you hit the ground, you better be living right. Amen. You better know that everything is put in the right place whenever you hit the ground. Whenever you hit the ground shouting, you know what you're going to do? God's going to move. But if you hit the ground making the mockery of God, you're going to get in trouble. And whatever you do, don't come running to me to pray for you. Because you've got yourself into the same trouble. Hallelujah. God made us a way. I, know, I want you to know tonight, I felt the presence of the Lord in this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Whenever I see people worshiping God and you can feel the presence of God, He said our spirit will bear witness with those. Our spirit will bear witness with God. Whenever that we begin to feel the presence of God, you don't have to ask if somebody is feeling the presence of God. You know what? Automatically God will say, get in there with them and worship them and begin to worship me. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, all that ever came with, then Jesus, then said Jesus unto them again, Very, very did I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. Hallelujah. I am. Jesus said, listen to me, I'm the way. I'm the way. If you want to be saved, you've got to come through me. Amen. Hallelujah. If you, want to, if you want God in your life, you're going to have to come through me. Amen. How do we get to God? How do we get to God? Somebody tell me tonight how we get to God. We can only get to God through Jesus Christ. He said he, said he was an African to the Father. 
Hallelujah. Whenever we need to go to Him, whenever we need to touch God, the, the Bible says God is a spirit, and no man has ever seen God. Amen. Amen. You know what I'm saying? He said no man has ever seen God. Amen. But we've seen Jesus. Amen. I haven't. Not yet. Hallelujah. But you know what I've done? I felt the spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I felt the spirit of God as it begins to flow through the building. Tonight, whenever we were singing, I just couldn't keep my mind off Jesus Christ. Amen. I just knew that any moment something good was fixing to take place. Mm -hmm. And could pray to God up to some that time. Amen. We were struggling. She got up and she minded the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. She got up and minded the Lord. You're going to have to do it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then the blessings of the Lord came down. The blessings of the Lord came down. Listen, I'm not going to get on down here a little bit. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. Now, this is the Lord speaking. But the sheep did not hear them. I am the Lord. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. And she'll go in and out and find pastors. You want to say? Go in and out and find pastors. In other words, you're not going to want for something from the Lord. You're not going to go hungry. You know, the Bible says in the last days there will be a famine in the land. There will be a place in the land. There will be a time in whenever the people, when they're not going to be starving. I, know I look around through this building tonight and I don't see many people that's been starving. I think everybody, everybody's had a pretty good meal. But he said in the last days, there would come a time when there would be a famine in the land. And what it would be for? It would be for the hearing of the Word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. It would be for the hearing of the Word of God. Listen to me, people. There is people out there tonight that don't understand the Word of the Lord. They take God for what He says. You know what? This Bible right here, here in the last, I'll say, the last 40 years, they have took this thing and they have took it completely apart. If it don't suit them, you know what they do? They just write it out. They say, we don't need that. We'll skip around it. We won't, we won't listen to that. We'll go to something else. I'm going to go. It says, I am the Lord by me. If any man enter a den, he shall be saved and shall go in and out to find pastors. Now listen to this. And this is where I wanted to get to. The thief, the thief cometh but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. He says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. That they might have life and had it more abundant. Now this is what I'm missing to tell you tonight. We are God's people. Okay? We are God's people. I see people going around. I can't pay my life bill. I can't pay the tithes this month. I can't. If I do, I'm going to be able to pay my life bill. Have you ever read the promise that God gave you? Hey, I, I, I'm here about our getting off on this again. Oh, Hallelujah. He said, I will pour you out a blessing that you can't contain. He said, I'll mash it down. I'll run it over. I'll mash it down again. I'll run it over. He said, that is my promise. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now, we are God's people tonight. And we take second hand at everything the devil wants to hand out. Listen to what I've got to tell you tonight. We take second hand to everything that the devil wants to hand out. If we need a blessing from the Lord, the devil to say, no, not, you don't get it, you're not going to get it. You're God's children. God has to be in over everything. He has all the blessings he wants but, uh, when he's piled up in a pot. We're God's people. If we need a blessing, Katrina, if we need a blessing, you know what we got to do? we got to go to the top. 
and we're going to say, God, I need a blessing from you. I need you to pour out a blessing on me. And you know what's going to happen? We're God's people. We don't have to listen to the devil tell us, you can't have that blessing. All we got to do is say, devil, I don't want to hear this. I, I want my blessing. I, I'm going to go to that pile and I'm going to reach in and I'm going to get my blessing. You're God's. He's got the blessing for you. All you got to do is take it and go with it. You need a financial blessing? We're God's people. The Bible says you don't need on a thousand deal. That's a whole bunch. That's a whole bunch. If you need something for God, if God ain't got it, I'm sure he had. If he had, he'll settle something else in the county to get what it is that you need. Amen. He's going to make everything just exactly like you need. All you got to do is believe that he's going to give it to you. If you're struggling financially, believe that he will give it to you and say, God, I'm yours and I need something for you and you know what he's going to do. He's going to pour you out a blessing. But if you need a spiritual blessing, if you need a touch from God, how many in here tonight enjoy the blessing that you've got from God? Hallelujah. It makes you want to get up and run. No? It makes you want to shout. It makes you want to say, God, I love you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're living in a time right now. You better get everything of God that you can get your hands on. You better get everything. If you've been praying an hour and a day, you better start praying too. If you've been praying two hours a day, you better go to four. You better get everything right between you and God. Because you know what? I believe, uh, just like you said on, the, on that mount, uh, the angels told him, said, said uh, listen, why stand you gazing into the heavens? Uh, this same Jesus that I've been telling you about, telling you about, he's coming back again in like manner. He's coming back. Uh, you know what? Tonight, uh, I believe that any time uh, the church of God can be drawn out of here uh, and we can go to be in the presence of God, uh, just like I said this morning, what well, here we are sitting in this church right now, five minutes from this very moment uh, that we're standing, hallelujah, I feel the presence of God. Five minutes from the time uh, that we're sitting right here, we can be looking at Jesus Christ uh, in the place. Uh, we can be in the presence of God. Uh, we can be worshiping Him. Uh, then, hallelujah. Shout out to you, play the song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're fixing the cause. Amen. Listen to Paul. Hallelujah. People get ready. God's church is living here. Mm -hmm.